Hi guys, welcome back to Theory Lab and we're taking the information we learned last time which was how to take your major scale and then create a minor scale from it and we're now going to bring it practically onto the guitar neck, okay? So let's take this one as an example, this C, okay? Now first of all, if you remember in the last one but, but one, <laughs> so when we did the C major scale or the D major scale, we learned kind of the shape like this. We learned that this was a shape for the, you know, the D major scale, any major scale across the neck, and it was simply tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go and take the C major. So tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone, and convert it to a minor scale. So we can hear the difference in sound. Okay. So let's start with the C. Okay. So we're on the C, which is really nice. And what we're going to be doing is going a tone up from C, okay, just as usual. So that gives us our D, okay. And then normally we would then go another tone, wouldn't we? That gives us the E. Now with a minor, we're going to be doing a flattened third. So where we had the E, we're flattening it. So we're going down one fret, okay. Nice and simple. So we've now got tone and then kind of like a semitone because we're flattening the third, okay. So we've got C. D, E flat, or the way I think a musician would generally talk it through if they were talking theory is the first, the second, and then the flat third, okay? Now, the fourth is exactly the same as it was in the major, so that will be the F, okay? The fifth is exactly the same, so it's a tone up, so that's G. Now, when we get to the sixth, originally that was up here on the A, okay? However, we're flattening the six as well now. So that comes down a semitone. Okay? So our flat six is a big part of this minor sound. So we've got root, second, flat third, then we've got fourth, fifth, flat six. Now, Normally, our seven, our major seventh, so the seventh that's tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 is here, okay? So that's where it would be in the, in the normal major scale. However, we're flattening that too. So instead of B, we're going to put the B flat in, okay? And that's followed by the root again of C, okay? So first of all, in terms of theory talk, we've got root, second, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat six, flat seven, and then root again, okay? In terms of frets, just in case you're struggling to see it, it's third fret, fifth, six, third, fifth, six, third, fifth, okay? And that is a minor scale shape that you can use anywhere. So that's a C minor scale if I come up to D, and then E, this is E minor, D minor, C minor, and so on. Okay, so that comes back to the guitar skill that we learn where we talk about moving shapes up and down the neck. Okay, that's the wonder and the marvel of the guitar and why it's such a popular instrument. So, now then, once we've got this theory, let's first of all just listen to it. So, here's our major. Such a happy, wonderful sound. Now let's listen to the minor. darker, sadder sound, okay? And that's a pretty crucial part of this. We need to relate the word major to a brighter, happier, kind of poppier sound, shall we say, and then minor to a slightly darker, sadder sound, okay? And by flattening the third, sixth, and seventh of the major scale, that creates the darker, more sad sound of the minor scale, okay? So, Hopefully that makes sense. And I've got one final point before we kind of finish this first five lesson course. Uh, we will be advancing in the next set of lessons. But the final point here is that because we're applying all of this information um, to a guitar. So we start by learning it on the chalkboard. This is a really visual way of learning it and hopefully it helps you guys really get it into the brain, okay? When we apply it on the guitar, it 
we, what we're trying to do is make it so practically, if you're ever in a situation where you need to work out a major scale or a minor scale, then you can do it on the guitar. You don't have to go to, the, to your paper or whatever you've got to do it here and then bring it onto the guitar. You can actually do it on here. We've got to start to get to know the guitar um, in terms of tones and semitones so we can quickly work through and find our scales. So the shapes are one thing. Shapes is perfect when you're just dealing generally with majors, minors, and pentatonics or whatever. But if you want to quickly edit and do a different scale, so for example, if we get more advanced and suddenly we need to quickly flatten the four or sharpen the four, you need to know where that is. Okay, so by, by walking through the scale in the way we just did, so saying root, second, flat third, fourth, fifth, flat six, flat seven, root, it means that if I need to sharpen the fourth, I can do it. Root, third, sorry, root, second, flat third, four, so sharpen the four, and we've got a new scale. Pretty dark scale, right? And that's what all this theory business is going to be. New scales are just simply new ways of doing these seven numbers, basically, okay, generally. So we might end up with one where we've just got a sharpened fourth, and in fact we will do at some point later on down the line, or one where we don't have the flattened sixth, for example, so on and so forth, okay? So the more you start getting used to talking through the scales in that respect, the easier this is gonna be in the long term. So try to apply that knowledge, and I'll see you next time for more Theory Lab.